morning boys and girls. Welcome to SGBC Children's Worship. First, I want to say hi to all the kids who usually attend our church. They include, good morning Charmaine, good morning Chelsea and Cleo, good morning Solomon and Sophie, good morning Abigail, good morning Samuel and Chloe, Good morning, Fianca. Good morning, Curtis. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning, Andrew. Good morning, Zach. Good morning, Haley, Terrence, and baby Wesley. Good morning, Jonathan and Ethan, or Ethan and Jonathan. Good morning, Brayden and Casey. Good morning, Quinton. Good morning, Gabriel and Michael. Good morning, Candace and Choco. Good morning, Renee. Good morning, Esther. Good morning, Jaden and Maxton. Good morning, Clayton and Burton. And good morning, Gabriel and Caitlin. Wow, I didn't realize that we have so many kids attending our children's worship. Now, you might want to bring some friends to join us as well. Just send them the YouTube link and then they can join us for worship as well. Or if you know your neighbors, if they want to join you, you can also send them the link. So welcome everybody to this morning children worship. Let's bow our head and pray. Dear God, come into our house this morning and come into our hearts. Enjoy the worship and praise that we would offer to you and speak to us this morning. Speak to all of us, including our parents, and speak to us so that we understand what you're trying to say to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, this is the day that the Lord has made for us to worship Him. Let us join Uncle Kenneth, Auntie Charlotte, and Charmaine to sing praises to God this morning. They're going to lead us into this song, This is the Day. This is the day. One. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. in leading us in worship. It is really great to have them lead us. Boys and girls, if your family want to lead us into worship, you can do so. Just send us your video, then we'll be able to schedule you in for the next couple worships. Now, we are happy and glad because we know that our God is big and strong and He can make anything work and He is in control. There is nothing our God cannot do. Let's sing My God is So Big together. We sang it last week, but this week we're going to have follow the stick figures to do our actions. So when you look at the song, you follow the stick figures, you follow the tiny, tiny little, you know, stick figures, and you can do the action with us. Let's stand up and sing this song together, okay? Ready? My God is so big.
we know that God can do everything. That's why we can trust Him in no matter what happened. I really love the next song because it reminds me that no matter what is happening, we can always trust and obey God. So let's sing this song together. We have sing it a long time ago in church, so you know this song already. Let's join me. into your mind. Trust. What pictures comes into your mind? Now do you realize that every day we trust in a lot of different things? Let's have a look at this chair. Now I trust that this chair is strong and sturdy enough that when I sit on it, it can hold my weight. Let's try this. I trust. Ah. I trust that it will hold my weight and I won't fall. Also, when you get up in the morning, when you open the fridge, you trust that your mom and dad would have food in there already for you to eat. Or when you get into your car with your parents to go somewhere, you trust that your car won't broke down in the middle of going 100 kilometers per hour on the highway. Or you know that your mom and dad will always be there to help you if you need them and they will try their very best to help you. Now let's play a game called Who Do You Trust? Now here is my daughter Jessica. Jessica, do you trust me? Yeah. Okay. Of course, Mom. So we're going to play this game called Do You Trust Me? I have a Ziploc bag here. Check this bag. Make sure that it's all good. Okay. Good. And I have a pitch of water here. We're going to fill this bag with water. Hold on to the bag. Okay. Good. And we're going to sip it up. Now, Jessica, guess what I'm going to do this morning? <laughs> Make me drink it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to hold it on top of your head. And I'm going to poke through this bag with three sharp pencils. <laughs> okay. Do you trust me? Yeah. Okay. Now, I haven't tried it many times. So, I just want to make sure you don't get all wet, so let me give you huh? uh, a towel. Huh? Oh, you you didn't try it many times? I tried, I tried it a couple times, but um, just to be safe, okay? Do you still trust me? You trust me, okay. Yeah. Um, maybe you should take off your glasses and put on the goggles, just to be sure. Okay. Okay, put on the goggles. I don't even, I don't even put on goggles when I swim. Yeah, you should, probably. This is just for precautions, okay? No, that's okay. It's good enough. Like, hold on to the goggles. Okay, ready? Okay. Can you see? Yeah. Okay, good. Now, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna hold this bag of water on top of Jessica's head, and I'm gonna put three pencils over it. Jessica. 
Jessica, do you trust me that you will be stay you will stay dry? <laughs> I guess. You guess, okay? <laughs> trust me, okay? Ready? Ready, boys and girls? Help me count. Each time I poke it through, you count one, oh. and then when I poke through the second one, you count two, and I poke through the third one, you count three. Ready? Ready? Go. First one. Jessica put her trust in me, even though I sometimes don't trust myself. But I know we can always trust God. Now, why do you trust your parents? Have you ever do a complete background check of your parents and make sure that they're good? Of course not. Or do you ask a bunch of their friends and make sure that they are nice or if they can be trusted? Never. Or have you interviewed them yourselves and make sure that they are trustworthy? Of course not. The reason you trust your parents is because of what they have done for you. Now, when you were a baby, they fed you and they changed your diapers and they take good care of you. When you're a little bit older, have you ever tried playing jumping off your bed? Now, you trust that your parents were always there to hold on to you and they will never let you fall. So you will jump into their hands. Or when you go to church or go to school when your parents drop you off, you trust that when church or school end, they will always come and pick you up. So you can trust your parents because of what they have done for you in the past. Today, we're going to talk about trusting in God. And we're going to go back in history, thousand years ago, to talk about a father who did something most of us would most of us will never imagine to do and the story we will see how much he trusts God and how amazing it is to trust in God the story is in the Bible the book of Genesis chapter 22 so you can turn to the book of Genesis which is the first book of the Bible the first book of the Old Testament and go to Genesis chapter 22 big number 22 and this is how the story goes Genesis chapter 22. Now this is Abraham. God promised Abraham that he will become father of a great nation. He told Abraham that his children plus his grandchildren and his great great grandchildren will be as many as the stars in the sky. Now this is Isaac. He was Abraham's son. Abraham and his wife Sarah has wanted for many, many years for a son. In fact, Isaac was born when Abraham was a hundred years old and Abraham loved Isaac more than anything in the world. One day, God spoke to Abraham and told him to take Isaac to go up onto the mountain and offer him a sacrifice. Wow! Did Abraham trust God? He did. So he obeyed God and took Isaac and they started up towards the mountain. On the third day, on the trip to the mountain, Abraham told Isaac that, uh, told Isaac that he's going to go build an altar and offer a sacrifice to God. Isaac started wondering and he asked Abraham, Father, the firewood is here. The fire is also here. But where is the lamb for the sacrifice, for the offering? Abraham answered Isaac, and said, trust God, God always provide for us. So they kept walking until they arrived at the place where God has told him to go. Then Abraham built an altar and arranged the, so uh, arranged the wood on it. After he's done, he tied Isaac up and placed him on the altar. He took a knife and was ready to kill his son when suddenly the angel of the Lord appeared and call out to him, Abraham, Abraham, don't lay a hand on the boy. Don't touch him. Then Abraham looked up and saw a ram with his horns caught in the bush. And Abraham took the ram 
and killed it to sacrifice it to God. Abraham has faith in God and he trusted in God completely. And God promised the ram just as Abraham has told Isaac that he would. And because Abraham has trusted God and obeyed him, this was what God has promised him. Genesis chapter 22, verse 16 to 18. This is what God said. He said, I'm giving you my word that I will bless you. I will bless you because of what you have done, announced the Lord. You have not held back your son, your only son, so I will certainly bless you. I will make the children born into your family as many as the stars in the sky. I will mix, mix, I will make them as many as the grains of sands on the seashore. They will take over the cities of their enemies. All nations on earth will be blessed because of your children. All these things will happen because you have trust and obeyed me. Just like Abraham, when we put our trust in God and obey him, God will always provide. He will bless us and then he will use us to bless other people. So who do you trust? Let us bow our head and pray. The Heavenly Father, help us to be just like Abraham, to put our trust in, in you and have faith that you will provide and to always obey you. Help us when we are not sure to always remember just like Abraham. We can follow you and you will be there to help us. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Boys and girls, let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father who art in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Now I want to congratulate all of you for finishing your school year. Even though it's a bit strange and unusual, God has provided everything we need to continue to learn. And I trust that you have all tried your very best to complete your schoolwork. Well done, boys and girls. And I also want to congratulate Zach as he is graduating from grade eight and will be going to high school in September. May God continue to guide Zach in, at home, at church, and in school. We're also celebrating two birthdays next week. Ethan's birthday is on Monday and Renee's birthday is on Thursday. Happy birthday to both of them and congratulations. And you guys, I hope you continue to grow and love God every single day. Now, if your family wish to help lead praises during worship, please remember to send us your video. We would love to have you to, as part of our worship. Even though school is out, Continue to do your devos and walk with God every day. Ask God what he has planned for you this summer. How can you bring God's love to people around you? Now, boys and girls, remember your to-do list and get ready for worship next week. Have a great start to your summer holiday, and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.